Greetings fellow members of the esoteric order of gamers. Another joy of unboxing, and this time it's a little bit different. It's a first, in fact. It's an outdoor joy of unboxing. Yes, I've never unboxed some games out on the deck before, but it's time to give it a go, and I'm going to unbox outside the Dark Crystal board game, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal board game, and Jim Henson's Labyrinth the board game, and I've also got a Goblins expansion here. Now, these are very nice looking games and they've got some lovely miniatures in them. The artwork and the sculpting was done by Johnny Fraser Allen, who's a Wellington, New Zealand based artist. And uh, I was recently introduced to him via email, so I thought I've got to get these things that he worked on and check them out. Now, I know they're not very good games. They haven't got great reviews. They're quite simple, probably better for kids, um, but uh, still. He's a very talented illustrator and sculptor, and I thought the parts would be really nice anyway, and it'd be nice to support the thing that he worked on. And also, I love the Dark Crystal, and I love the Labyrinth. I grew up with them. Uh, they're a very important part of my youth, and a very amazing film. So if you haven't seen them, go and see them, and suspend your disbelief and get into Jim Henson's world. Right, enough of that. Let's have a look inside these boxes. We'll start with the Dark Crystal. Off the shrink wrap, and oh, lots of space. <laughs> yes, um, but we've got some uh, some nice boards here. Here we have sheets for the bad guys in the Dark Crystal. All well, the classics. There's Jen, who is our hero. Kira, our heroine. Some nice boards. They have plenty of space to sit in there. Uh, this looks like some piece that you put on something, I don't know what. I've got some cards. Uh, these look like sort of token bases. Yep. Uh, some classic dice there. This is D8, D10. What's that? D12, D4. Oh, that's a, it's a full role-playing set. And you've got these very nice little miniatures. Look at these. And that is a lovely miniature. Very, very nice indeed. There's another one. Some great detail there. They're quite lovely. Look at that. Lovely playing pieces. They'll be a lot of fun to paint up. Beautifully sculpted. Right, if we take out this piece, oh, there's more underneath. Anniversary edition. Here's our rule book. Journey of Jen. go. Now for those of you who haven't seen The Dark Crystal, surely there's not too many of you, it's an amazing uh, fantasy adventure done with puppets, Jim Henson's puppets, and uh, a lot of design was done by Brian Froud, who's a fantastic classic illustrator. That's his work there. There's our rule book, and here's the board. That's, look at that, that's very nice. Very colourful, lots of card spaces. Um, yeah. Spaces for cards around here, some central spaces here. And quite a spectacular looking board. And down the bottom we've got some cardboard. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have miniatures for everything, but it looks like we have these standees. And there's a, a spinning thing there with a number thing. And of course, now that we're outside, someone starts up some machine. <laughs> it's one of the slight disadvantages of filming unboxings outside. And here are the cards for the Dark Crystal. Some nice stills from the film itself. And all of the events of the film. They look quite nice. So that's the Dark Crystal. Let's have a look at Labyrinth, the board game. Similar arrangement, got the same number of dice. Uh, some very nice miniatures. Let's have a look at these. There's David Bowie. 
playing the Goblin King. And I do apologise for that sound in the background. There's always someone who wants to get out some kind of gardening machine on a weekend. It's such a shame. I wish people would give it a rest. Anyway, nice little miniatures there. Very nice indeed. Here are our character sheets. And it looks like you use a different dice for rolling on different stats. Here are cards. Some photos from the film. Unusually shaped cards, but quite nice. There you go. Here's our rule book. Oh, look at that, look at the hair. This does bring back memories. I must watch the films again, it's been quite a long time. Here's our cardboard. Again, some large standees, a bit of photography from the film. And finally, the board itself. Oh, another fully illustrated board with card spaces. Very nice. There's the little kid you're trying to save, right in the middle. Very nice. Now, as I said, apparently these aren't much Chopper's games. They're probably in the realm of talisman that kind of level of complexity if not a little bit simpler but uh, as you can see there's some nice pieces and some nice miniatures to paint up here's the goblin expansion and that's got a few more cards but these nice miniatures And they're really lovely, just nice to have as part of a collection, I think. Well, folks, that's it. The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth board game. Um, don't know if I'll be... I'll give these a go, I'll give them a play. Um, but mostly I just got them for the very nice miniatures. And just add them to my collection because I love the film so much. Uh, Johnny Fraser Allen now has a company called Tabletop Troubadour. He used to work for Weta. Um, but his company uh, did a Kickstarter called Hagglethorn Hollow, where they created some stunning-looking hand-sculpted terrain. Um, that uh, Kickstarter is about to deliver, I think, and uh, it looks really good. So it'll be very interesting to see what he does next. Uh, he's a talented sculptor. So thanks very much for watching. That's today's joy of unboxing. I'll see you next time. Esoteric Order of Gamers, orderofgamers.com. And sorry about that damn lawnmower.